Yeah. It was junior year of high school, and I was in this business immersion program, and we all had to write like a ten-page business plan as a junior in high school. So yeah. like, it's pretty like early yeah, on. I like didn't really know what I was doing, old. but I was like, okay, this makes sense. I was like, they're like, think of a problem that you have, and I was like, well, you know, we all drink a ton of coffee. I was like, okay, whenever I drink coffee, my t- I always burn my tongue. Cause it's just like so hot, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna come up. You always bring your what? I always burn my tongue when I drink coffee. <laughs> just it's have a neuro, so man, brother. He's like, what if I had like a cold stick that tasted <laughs> no, like fruit so, and called it so a fucking like, like, caffeine? In it. I was like, well, I can't really solve the burning part, but I can control it with a mug that just controls the temperature. Like, pretty simple, right? And I did all this market research, and there wasn't a mug that did that yet, and I you present it to like the two coaches or teachers. They're like, no, that's not going to work. Like it's not scalable enough. You can't manufacture it, whatever, whatever. And I didn't know shit about business yet. So it was just like, Oh, okay. And three years later, I walk into a Starbucks and the exact product that I (laughs) wanted to do was acquired by Starbucks. And I looked it up and they were acquired for like $120 million. (laughs) It was called Ember. And the, the and I'm like, I'm like the teacher that said your idea sucked made I'm it. I'm like so that's <laughs> so that's that's a valuable lesson to basically just not not listen to professor, professor, other professor people. Stinkle. We should start an incubator and never hear a good idea like that sucks. And, we and just, then just behind the scenes and rip it. Go write, write that down. Write but that same down. thing basically. They got acquired by Starbucks for like a 120 mil or something. Damn, bro, you should just made I still don't even understand what the product is. It's essentially just like a It's like a heat control pad for your coffee. So uh, you can it's a rechargeable mug. So an ice pack. It just has a heat element. No, it doesn't cool it down. It so what you would do like is like, okay, well, like you burn your tongue at a certain temperature when you're drinking it. So you just set it to the temperature you want it and it keeps it warm. Yeah. But you recharge it on like this base thing. It just plugs in. It's like yeah. pretty simple, actually. It's actually a great but, idea because, yeah, they serve the coffee extremely hot because it's going to cool down. So you don't drink it until it hits the temperature. I yeah, think but they then just, you have like a sl- small window to drink it. And so this keeps it at that temperature the entire time. Or you could just have a neural mint. Dude, just bro, are you even sponsored, sponsored by? <laughs> bro, I got my first payout. Link, we'll, we'll link dr- in bio. We'll drop your affiliate link in the. What was it like? Twenty five cents. Yeah, everyone wants to know how it. much did you make from Neuromint affiliates? Twenty three dollars. Oh my god! Just for time. For how much? Who's the most famous no- number? Twenty three. Made eleven sales, guys. You made a LeBron. That's pretty good. You made a LeBron. But what I will say is, I get free shipments every month, so I'm chilling. Yeah. Good for you, man. Happy for you. I appreciate it. But it's so funny how, like, the market research was such a big part. Now it's the complete opposite. Like, you make 10 grand with an offer, and you're like, oh, this is what other people are doing, too, that works. (laughs) Market research is just actually going out into the market and testing it, rather than sitting down at a Starbucks and writing out 10 What's the best mechanism to validate an offer and do market research? It's to literally go talk to your customers. Cold email. Cold email. Oh, my God. Cold email, email, bro. God damn, bro. God. You can throw the oop, but... If you can't dunk it. You can't I dunk can't, it I mean, too. I can't dunk. You so. can't dunk it. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm buzzing pretty hard. Hey, guys, if you enjoyed this short clip, check out the full interview here. And if you want to see more clips from this episode, check it out right here.